Are you periscoping? Periscoping. Right on. Fix my hair. How's my hair? <laughs> That's a lot of heart. Do you need a trim? I think I do need a little haircut here. I, I have my jackknife with me. <laughs> the Amber, where's Amber? Oh, she's taking a photo. Okay, hey from Norway. Hey, how's it going? Ooh, Sean, yeah. how's it going, man? Uh, it's going, oh, look. North Carolina. A, North Carolina. Ohio. North Carolina Texas. made a comment about my stash. <laughs> I'm yeah. from Buffalo. Scotland, Netherlands. Vegas in the house. <laughs> <laughs> nice. From Sweden. Okay, guys. Yeah, let's do it. Amber, you ready? Okay. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. All right, so let's bring up our, our crew. Of course, we've got Graham Wardle, Amber Marshall, Alicia Newton, and Sean Johnson. And then, I don't know why they give me cords. <laughs> it's like having that big thing of balloons, and then you get all wrapped up. This one's on. Okay. Too, I think. Test, test, check. Can you guys hear me on this? Yes? What did more? Do I need to turn you up? Test, turn test, up. check, check. Usually we want to turn them down. Turn <laughs> okay. I'll switch you. Okay. I've got a much more bassy voice than this. <laughs> it's the radio. Oh, there. Wow, look at that. Does that even work? <laughs> a little. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, a little question and answer here. So, if anybody has a question, you can raise your hand and we can bring the microphone over to you and then you can direct it to all of us or just one of us and Jody can also uh, take questions if she sees you. If we don't see you, please, Jody can see you too and point to you and then we'll bring the microphone to you. Uh, feel free to take pictures um, and uh, yeah, ask away, have some fun. Who wants to go first? No one. No one. <laughs> really? Okay, we got a, we got a gentleman down here who's okay. ready to rock Let's, and let's see if we can run the mic over to you. We have enough length here. You know, they have these things called wireless mics, but we don't get those yet. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, who has a question here? You do, yes. First of all, I want to say that that show brought us up in Texas. And the question is, how long does it take to do that? Okay, and what's your name? Dan. So Dan is all the way from Texas, everybody. He came up here for us. <laughs> Thanks, Dan, for coming. And the question is, how long does it take to do a scene? So, uh, Sean Johnson, you want to answer that one? Um, yeah. Um, when these guys are uh, working with me, <laughs> it takes a really long time because it takes me forever to get my poop in a group. <laughs> these guys act fast and really good. I act slow and need help. <laughs> uh, obviously, it depends on how long the scene is. If it's a page long, it would uh, might take us uh, uh, a little bit longer than uh, if it was a half a page. Uh, how many characters are in it? There's really no answer for that, Dan. Uh, what I can tell you is it takes us uh, two weeks to shoot an episode, so uh, maybe that's a better idea. Sometimes I look at a scene, and if it's like action, you know, if it's like uh, Amy and Ty ride through a field, I'll be like, ah, oh, 45 minutes, you know. If it's a big dialogue scene, lots of people moving around, you know, could be three hours, you know, could be an hour, depending on if how many shots and setups we do. So it kind of varies. 
uh, depending, like, like uh, Sean said. Amber has a, a point she wants to add, too. It also really depends on the director. So everybody has a different style. Everybody has a different idea of how they want to shoot a scene. And we switch up directors every two episodes. So we have a different director for every two episodes. So some of them can get things done really quick, and they have a certain idea of what they want to do, and some want it to be a little bit more artsy and have a lot more different camera angles. So basically, how many times we have to set up a camera in a different spot is going to depict how long it takes. And the more action there is, the more camera angles they want to get because they want to be able to cut between stunts and horses and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, it usually depends on how much action is going on and how much talking and how many people are in the scene. Yeah. Question over here. It doesn't matter how many times you fall off the horse. <laughs> <laughs> the question was, does it matter how many times you fall off the horse? Uh, yeah, so if there's stunts involved, yeah, it takes a lot longer. Um, uh, stunts are something that we have doubles that come in and, and, and do, and um, and yeah, if, if the stunt goes well, then we get it one take, you know, and camera's got it, we move on. Um, but a lot of the action stuff with stunts takes a bit more time, so. Do you want to explain what you're doing here? Yeah, so everybody knows, this is Periscope, so I'm live streaming this to people from all over the world. There's people from Sweden in here, from... Where else are we from? Sweden? Yeah. Netherlands today? Netherlands, North yeah. Carolina. North Carolina, Norway, England, Al Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> so say hey to everybody from Periscope. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? Yes, right there. Um, I have a question for Amber. How many horses do you have on your real ranch? How many horses do you have on your real ranch, Amber? I currently have four. Um, so I have two quarter horses and two miniature horses, so technically that's three because the little ones are like half a horse. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have two that I ride and then the two minis I drive in a cart. And, uh, and then I have friends' kids, actually Michelle who plays Lou. Her kids come out and ride my ponies and some of my other friends too. So I only let little kids ride the ponies and then we drive them. Yep. Just like Mrs. Beth. Just like Mrs. Beth. <laughs> we got some questions down here on the far end with the great looking mitten. Yes, yeah. we'll go with the, the great looking mitten the first. The leather mitten question. <laughs> Where did you get those and can I have some? <laughs> um, how was your guys' ride? How was the ride? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> uh, uh, no, there was no smoke. No, because of all the rain cleaned the smoke out <laughs> of the air. No smoke, lots of rain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it wasn't as cold as this. Uh, this is pretty chilly right now. We dropped down one night to, to about seven degrees, which I think it is about seven right now. Um, yeah, it's cold on a bike, you know, but you kind of put your hand underneath your armpit and you kind of hunker down behind the windshield. Um, and then, yeah, we had a bit of rain too, um, which wasn't fun, but, you know, you got to keep going. Still had great turnouts. Yeah. Lots of people came. And yeah. Is yes. it legal to ride a motorbike with one hand? Oh. <laughs> we were all doing it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. well, just curious. Just curious. Yes. Um, how long have you been riding? Horses Motor or motorcycles? Are you available, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> the question was, how long have you been riding and is Sean available? Uh, Sue? <laughs> the, am I available? <laughs> am I available? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> and what do you mean riding horses? Yes, yes, yes. So Amber, how long have you been riding horses? Uh, twenty, twenty-three years, <clears throat> twenty-two years. <laughs> um, when I was little, my grandma had horses, so I would ride uh, her horse, just western. And then when I was, I think I was nine, I started doing proper like lessons and I started showing and that kind of thing so <sighs> five years uh, uh, yeah thanks uh, <laughs> I got this for you uh, I'm a farm kid from uh, from way back so uh, so I've been riding how to ride when I was a real small boy probably five or six years old I read, I rode pretty good for uh, a lot of years, but then I was not, uh, I was not living the, the farm life anymore for about 30 years, and I took a break in there while I married for love, and, and went and lived in cities and did the life that I have. 